Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today is $20 Tuesday and on $20 Tuesday we normally showcase wigs and fashion in the affordable price range of $20 and below. But today we're doing lipstick, okay? I have fallen back in love with lipstick. During COVID, I took a break from it. I know we were wearing the mask. I just wasn't feeling inspired. But now that I've been going out a little bit more, I'm back and I have a lot to show you. I want to give a quick shout out to Fab Coco Berry because she has been my lipstick muse for some years now. I started watching her in 2015 and she always put me on to awesome lipstick finds. So shout out to you girl. You definitely inspired my lipstick game. So the way I'm going to do this video, I'm going to talk through a few of the different brands that I have. I have a lot. I think I have like over 60 different lipsticks, but I'm not showing all of them right now. However, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment down below because that lets me know if you want me to do a part two to this video. But yeah, I'm going to showcase a few lipsticks from each brand that I have. In my collection, I have NYX. I have Jimmy's Place. I have Colored Rain. I have um, Wet n Wild. I have a lot of variety here, all different shades. So I really hope that you enjoy this. All right, so I'm gonna start this off with this lipstick, and this is by The Lip Bar. They're a black-owned lipstick company, and they produce vegan lip products. This is Boss Lady, and this is one of my favorite reds. It's actually a great dupe for Color Rain's Cherry Blossom Red, super popular red that everyone loves. I actually ran out of my Cherry Blossom, and I'm so sad. So that's why I had to pick this up again. This is my second time getting Boss Lady, and she's divine. So let me just, do this for y'all so y'all can see what she looks like. I would say this is like a blue based red. Do y'all see this red? <laughs> y'all can tell me I'm not ready for the holidays with this red lips. It. Oh my god, this is absolutely gorgeous. You have got to try this. I recently repurchased on Amazon for about $12. It'll be linked down below. And that goes for anything you see in this video. My sweater, my earrings, my hair that I'm wearing. If you want to know what it is and you're interested in purchasing, all links will be listed. My description box is very organized, so make use of it. And of course, if you shop through my links, you are directly supporting Is That Your Hair? It means a lot to me, so thank you in advance. But yeah, y'all, I'm coming over. Who has a play ready for me this Thanksgiving? Because I'm coming in hot. <laughs> I love this. Oh my God. All right, we, we got a lot to get through, so let's keep it moving. Now, when it's time to remove lipstick, I normally use my Neutrogena makeup wipes. And if it's a tough lipstick to remove, I'll use oil as well. Literally, I just start wiping like this. And it comes off pretty easily with these Neutrogena wipes. All right, easy peasy. I really like the lip bars formula. It's very comfortable on the lip and it's not drying. So that's nice because I've tried a lot of lipsticks and some of them will have your lips feeling like they're cracked. But you know what? That's why it's super important to use a moisturizer. And for me, Carmex just gets me right. This is the only lip balm I use that actually works for me. I've tried so many, y'all. You're welcome to leave suggestions if you want to because I would love to try like a natural product that works for me. But for now, this has been my holy grail for like a decade. So <laughs> I use my Carmex, I apply it, pat it down. Sometimes I'll take a towel and pat some of it off if I put too much because ideally when I'm wearing matte lipstick, this conflicts with that formula, so I don't really want a lot of this on when I apply my matte lipsticks. But I definitely cake it on when I do my lip gloss, okay? Yeah, that's what I like to use, and of course it's linked down below. All right, so let's start with NYX, okay? I'm gonna show you two glosses that I really love by them. This is the NYX Butter Gloss that a lot of us know and love, and this is in the color Butterscotch. I purchased this recently from Amazon, but I've had the other ones for years. I've tried them. so. I just love the way this looks and I love the way it applies. It looks so cute. Now, 
for me, being a D for complexion, you might think, oh, is it too light? Uh-uh, no sis. Because with this gloss, I like to use a liner. So I like my Sephora Contour Gel Rouge Lip Liner in the color Molasses, number 17. And let me just take my mirror so I can do this properly. Oh my God, I've been using this liner so freaking much. Oh, oh no, my liner fell out. Oh no, 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 I need you not to fall out. I need you. Oh my God, I've been sharpening this down to the bone, but I need you to go back in. No, go back in, little liner. We gotta preserve this, because this is like my favorite line. Oh Jesus Christ. All right, I know this looks crazy right now, but we gonna make this work. All right, so this is what the gloss looks like. It's like a peachy nude. I like using lip liners on certain glosses, especially the, like the lighter ones, because it just makes it more wearable for my skin tone. And I'm sure if you are of a deep complexion like I am, you can relate. And that applies to almost any lipstick that I try that it, that's brighter than me. Normally, if I apply a liner, I like it a lot better. However, there's one lipstick that I never wear a liner with that's super bright on me, but I just love it so much. I'll show you that later by Colored Rain. Ooh, I can't wait to get into that. But yeah, this is this is very pretty. Very pretty. All right, the next lip gloss I'm trying from NYX is a black lip gloss. And it's called Blackberry Pie. I've already worn this out several times and she's gorgeous, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. If you didn't know that you needed a black lip gloss, today is the day that you find out. Yes, it is. Ugh. Hello, like, come. This is just after putting one coat, but I do. I want to put a little bit more on. Y'all, this gloss is absolutely gorgeous. Go grab this. And one thing I like about dark lipsticks and lip glosses is that it just brightens your teeth by like three shades. It looks amazing. If you have tried a black lip gloss, let me know in the comments or if you're willing to after seeing it on me. What? Oh my God. Gorgeous. You know what I need? I need a brown lip gloss. Like I need, I need a deep chocolate brown gloss. Straight up. If y'all have recommendations, sound off below please and thank you. All right, so while we're on NYX, I wanna talk about two lipsticks from the NYX Lingerie series, XXL. I definitely have tried their glosses from this line, which are really nice very pretty nudes for deeper complexions but i was curious about the matte lipstick never tried it before until recently i will say i did notice that they take longer to dry down so just be aware of that but i think the color payoff is very pretty one thing i can say about this formula is very thick and moisturizing like what's in here the first ingredient is I don't know what the hell this says. Wait, is this in? Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever really looked at the ingredients in these lipsticks. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna stay a gloss. It takes a while. I'll be right back and let you know what it looks like dried down. So yes, this is the shade Sizzlin by NYX. Overall, it takes way too long to dry down. And when it comes to my matte lipsticks, I need them to dry quickly so I can be out the door. I noticed also when I pressed my lips together, it got a little bit patchy. I just felt like with this one, they needed to just keep it as a gloss. I don't know. It was giving me gloss vibes from the get-go. <laughs> it's a pretty color. And I also tried another shade, this one right here, the deep mesh color. Again, very pretty, right? But takes long to dry. So just keep that in mind if you decide to purchase these. I'm still gonna rock them because I love the color payoff, but yeah. Oh snap, these do not come off easily. Okay, good to know, I'm gonna have to hit the oil. I'm using um, this black Jamaican castor oil because that's what I just have on hand, but you can use any oil, y'all. I would prefer to use a lighter oil, but this is, this is fine. This will do what it needs to do, and you see, use the oil. Hold on, is this thing coming off? <laughs> Oh, I don't have to put some elbow grease in this. What? All right, y'all. Let's move on to Lime Crime. And Lime Crime is one of my favorite lipstick liquid matte formulas because it dries super fast, but it's not super dry. One of my faves from Lime Crime. Let me pull her out. Let me pull her out. Where is she? There we go. Blood Moon. And this is a beautiful, deep 
blood red hence the name i really like these because it's quick to put on oh my god i adore this color all right y'all i just applied one coat of lon Krang's blood moon what do y'all think i think it looks really good <laughs> this is one of my favorite lip color shades like i said it dries quickly like less than 30 seconds and it feels comfortable on the lip it also has a little scent to it now this is in drugstore lime crime definitely costs like 20 dollars. sometimes you can catch a sale on their site depending i did repurchase mine from amazon so of course i'll link them down below but yes honey look as y'all can probably tell i love me a nice red i actually think i might do a video strictly on reds and comparing and contrasting them if that's something that you're interested in like a i don't know holiday red type of video let me know in the comments so i can deliver that for y'all but she's serving <laughs> so just now to take off that lime crime i actually tried using my carmex to take it off and that worked really well too again this works against these matte lipsticks so you don't want to have too much on before you put it on but if you're trying to take it off it works Keep that in mind. Now here's something to note for those who have different colors on their lips, like me. I have different colors on my lips. My doctor said I have lip freckles. I don't know. Something you can do is some people will put some type of like powder or even foundation on their lips just to make their lip color one tone in order for the true color of the lipstick to come out. This is something you can do if you notice that your original lip color is kind of like showing through your lip gloss or your lipstick. You can take your pressed powder and you can just apply it to your lip. You know? <coughs> oh god. And you kind of like mute it, you know what I mean, before applying your before applying your lip product that's a little trick that i picked up like some years ago and i often forget about it but it does work i feel like it serves kind of like as a primer in a way like the way we prime our face for makeup i think this is something that we should do for our lips now there is lip primer i haven't really tried one that i felt like i needed but it's out there all right we're gonna do another lime crime this is lime crime scandal and i've had this shade for a long time I, i've had this for a few years now i don't know when lipstick expires you know i feel like i might want to look that up but <laughs> i'm still gonna use it okay and it's like a purplish color and i think oh i think deep purples look amazing on darker complexions have you tried it yet let me know if you've tried it all right, so I'm here with Scandal by Lime Crime. I think it's a really pretty purple lipstick. And if you haven't tried purple, here's your sign to try it. There are a lot of beautiful shades that work well for our complexions. Lime Crime has quite a few. All in all, I really like this brand and I think it's worth the money. It does last a while, even while eating and drinking. So overall, they're solid. I have no complaints about them. All right, y'all, we're gonna move on to Wet n Wild. I wanna showcase my new favorite lipstick. Literally, this is the lipstick I've been reaching for the absolute most. Ah, I love it so much. This is Wet n Wild Goth Topic. I realized after trying this, I don't have any lipstick like this in my collection. It's like a deep brown with a red undertone, or is it red with a brown undertone? I don't know, but it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. Okay, y'all, this is Goth Topic, and I just think it's such a lovely color. Isn't this gorgeous? I feel like everyone, no matter what skin tone you are, should have this, but especially my chocolate girls. Why are you sleeping on Wet Wild? Answer me this, sis, why? $5 on Amazon. Cop her, get her, please. This is beautiful. I've worn this lipstick a lot. I wasn't really eating when I was using this lipstick, but I don't expect it necessarily to last throughout all that. I do expect like different oils from foods to kind of break it down, especially over in this area right here. That's normally where it starts to crumble first. I mean, for $5, this is a drugstore lippy that you need in your collection. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Now here's something that I also like to do a little trick. Sometimes I like to highlight this area a little bit and it makes the lipstick stand out more so i'll take a concealer like this right you can use a concealer that's probably like a little closer to your skin tone this is espresso right 
I will just use espresso around the lips and I'll use my fingers to blend and I do this when I really want the lipstick to stand out Ooh, I went a little too far in there so I hope you can see the difference here where I basically highlighted my lips I think it just makes the lipstick look so pronounced it makes it pop it's almost like you're contouring your lips a little bit me personally I like the way I'm able to define my lips using this method so I suggest you try it out with your other lipsticks too because I feel like it really finishes any lipstick look okay so this lipstick right here is another wet and wild this is called missy and fierce i love this one i haven't worn it out yet i recently got it a few weeks ago but when she dries down i just think she is everything everything so this is missy and fierce by wet and wild and again for this five dollar price point I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. I think this is also a blue based red. Definitely similar to Boss Lady, but I think that one is a little bit deeper, the lip bar one, than this one. But either way, gorgeous color that you can get at the drugstore, y'all. I really love this. So these two wet wild ones, they are top contenders in my book if we're talking the look and affordability. Yes. Okay, so next I want to show you a favorite of mine by Stella Cosmetics. Normally their lipsticks actually retail for like $22, but I actually was able to catch it on sale a few times for like $15 or so. Either way, the formula is hands down my favorite formula in a liquid lipstick. Favorite. Right up there with the lip bar and colored rain. I love this formula because not only is the color pay payoff super opaque, but it's very moisturizing. I think this is hands down the most moisturizing formula I have tried. So if you are new to Stila Cosmetics, honey, get familiar because their liquid lipsticks are one to be reckoned with. Oh, the way this glides on is so creamy. It feels awesome on the lip. All right, so this is Stella Cosmetics and this is Beso. Beso? Now, I feel like it's coming out brighter on camera than in person to me. Some people might want to wear a lip liner and you can do that. You can, oh my God, my lip liner looks so janky right now. <laughs> but like I said, you can take a brown liner. Well, this is like a reddish brown one. And this is the Sephora liner that I like. Oh my God, now it's not dragging properly. God, yeah. Oh! And this is what it's looking like with the liner on. Overall, this feels amazing on the lips and I think it is worth the higher price point. When it comes to lipsticks, I don't mind paying more money because I know I can be somewhat of a lipstick snob. And I've tried so many, it's just like at a certain point, especially with matte lipsticks, the moisturizing ones, I'm with it because I don't like when my lips feel like super dry and they start cracking because my lips are already prone to dryness so i don't need them to be any more dry this comes off pretty easily i did notice with the still cosmetic one i did have a little bit of transferring i think it just takes longer to dry down so i didn't really let it do its thing fully plus in between i added like a little bit of extra on a part that i missed but yeah all right the next lipstick i want to talk about is colored rain black owned brand i've been rocking with them for years like all throughout my 20s so i'm so proud of them for blowing up in the way that they did and for committing to creating quality products that look good on our skin i also just love their website like they feature this dark skin model and she showcases all the lipsticks beautifully and they even show on their website like a person applying the lipstick so you can see how it looks as it applies oh i just love colored rain so they can do no wrong in my book but here I have a bright color. <laughs> this is Speechless. I wear this a lot definitely during the summertime. It's a beautiful bright teal color. It looks brighter in the bottle than it does actually on my lip to be honest. In my opinion at least. So yeah, I'm going to try this on for y'all. For me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh wait, it's 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 a little wet. <laughs> All right. 
Don't lie and see, y'all. She just brought me some juice. See, I got this juicer and she's freaking obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> we featured it on our vlog that we did the other day. Is there carrots in here? Yes, drink it. Taste it. I strained it. Taste it. Glass is a baby and doesn't like flavor. <laughs> Ew, I don't Great. like carrot juice. No, taste it. It's good. Let it's me good. see. Let me see. Open it for me. That's for the straw. That's what this is for. Oh. Come on. Come on, sis. Juice rake. Is this lipstick dry yet? Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this tastes pretty. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, you got oranges in here, too? Mm hmm. Oranges, and apples, and carrots. The oranges you got is really good. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. All right, y'all. Let's talk about this lipstick right here. This is one of my favorites. Like, I know it's bright. I know it's bright. But I be wearing this with no liner. <laughs> and I don't have no problem. Again, it's a, it's a lipstick that I normally wear during the summertime. And I just think it's beautiful. Step outside your comfort zone. Come on over my side. Where we try a little bit of everything when it comes to color. Please, you'll enjoy it here. You see me with this bright yellow sweater on. Yellows look really good on chocolate. Oh! Also, I just really love Color Brain's formula. It's, it's definitely top tier to me. It goes on smoothly. This one actually feels a little bit dry, but my lips were already dry when I put it on. So again, make sure your lips are moisturized before you put on your liquid matte lipsticks because a lot of the formulas can be drying. But this formula is definitely closer to the more moisturizing side compared to other formulas I've tried. This joint dries quickly, so you gotta, you gotta work. Now I know this lipstick won't be for everyone, but it's definitely for me. Speechless, yeah, speechless is where it's at. All right, let's move on to Juvia's Place. The lipstick I have here is called Cultured. Juvia's Place came out with these glosses, I believe in 2020, so this is still, you know, a fairly recent collection. Juvia's Place is also black owned. As you can tell, I love supporting black owned makeup businesses and I've been rocking with their eyeshadows for the longest time. So when they came out with their liquid lipsticks, I was super happy about that. I do have a matte one I wanna show you, but first I'm gonna show you this gloss. It's a like cherry red color. Oh my God, look at this. Ah, uh, it looks like a candy apple. <laughs> y'all this is so freaking pretty and this is just me doing one coat right i think that's giving really nice coverage with this one coat oh julia's place what are you doing to me <laughs> this is gorgeous i've tried this on but it's been a long time since i wore it i actually wore it um when i wore one of my wigs nisha 208 oh man that was pretty. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is definitely giving me holiday card ready. Who's going home for the holidays? Are you? Now that things have gotten back to some type of semblance of normal, are you all traveling for the holiday seasons? Let me know. Also, what holidays do you celebrate, if any? I grew up celebrating Christmas and Kwanzaa, and as an adult, I more so lean towards Kwanzaa, but of course, Christmas always has a special place in my heart because it's family, it's gifts, it's warm and fuzzy feelings, it's Mariah Carey, all of that. So let me know what y'all are doing, but this is so pretty. And remember, if this video is helping you, I would greatly appreciate it if you like the video and share this with a friend who needs it. I know there are a lot of women that look like me who feel like certain lipsticks don't work for them, and I hope that I can debunk some of those myths in this video because you see me right i'm chocolate and i'm trying a little bit of everything okay and you can too all right let's wipe that off that's the good thing about glasses they come clean off like whoop, like with one swipe done all right so this is a liquid to matte lipstick that juvia's place came out with this is called yoko and what initially attracted me to juvia's place were their eyeshadows right and all their shadows were named after a country in Africa, which I thought was so freaking cool. At the time, I just never saw anything like that before, so that was awesome. Yeah, this is a, a true brown color, so let's see how it's looking here. To me, this is definitely very liquid, not so much creamy. So I'm back with Juvia's Place Yoko, 
And I did apply um, concealer around my lip to make it pop a little bit more. And I think it's a pretty lip. I don't know why it's not my absolute favorite. I don't know. It feels comfortable on the lips. I haven't worn this lipstick out, so I can't say anything about the wear and tear. But Juvia's Place always delivers quality, so I expect the same with the liquid lipstick. Feels good. Yeah, it's just not my favorite. I don't know, something about the undertone. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, I think it looks good, but this wouldn't be my go-to for a dark lip. I think when it comes to browns, maybe I prefer having like some type of reddish undertone, like the Wet n Wild lipstick I showed earlier. Uh, Cause this straight up chocolate, I don't know why I don't like it as much. Y'all let me know. It still looks good on dark skin though, so please don't let my personal opinion deter you. Just not my favorite. All right, the next lipstick I'm gonna try is actually by another black owned company called Belegant Cosmetics. I have been using their lipsticks for a minute. Wow, it's been like four or five years. I haven't seen them on social media lately, but I have to tell you about this company because they have the most unique lipstick shades I've ever seen in my life, seriously. The one I have today is like this yellow color, and this one's called Cider Sangria. Look at how this goes on. It also applies beautifully. It low-key matches my sweater. <laughs> I know some of y'all are like, girl, that lipstick is bright. Honey, we gonna get it together. Don't you worry, look at how opaque that is just from one application. Seriously, I really rock with the quality of Belegant Cosmetics. Get with it, get with it. All right, so I know this looks a little, a little something. <laughs> we gonna put the liner on real quick. I'll be right back. Ah! All right, yo, so this is Cider Sangria by Belegant Cosmetics. Look at that, now that I applied a liner, this is so wearable for me. I don't normally wear yellow lipstick, but what's wrong with venturing outside the box? And I've had this lipstick forever. I've had it for a few years now. I just haven't had a chance to wear it out, but this is such a fall color to me. It reminds me of leaves changing colors. I absolutely love it. Check out Bella Gant Cosmetics. I don't know if you've heard of them, but their lipstick colors are to die for. Oh, they're gorgeous. All right, this is another lipstick by Belegant Cosmetics. It's a green lippy, almost like a forest green, a little bit lighter. I feel like it had the word chill in it. Honestly, it rubbed off, so I can't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up, put it on the screen. But yeah, this is another nice option for the fall and winter months. I feel so super cozy in this sweater and this green. Let me know what y'all think. Have you ever worn green lipstick before? Never really my go-to, but I think you can definitely serve some looks, especially if you're like taking some nice pictures. I say give it a shot, why not? Last lipstick, y'all. This is lipstick number 15. Woo! And this is by Colored Rain. This is called Vanity Rain. And this is back when Colored Rain made all their lipsticks with rain at the end, <laughs> which I thought was really cute. This is Gorgeous. Different from Cherry Blossom. If you're familiar with Cherry Blossom, it's a blue-based red that's, I don't know, it's, I don't even know how to describe that shade. It's so perfect, but it's just a deeper red. This undertone is different. Is it an orange one? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments, but it's still gorgeous. I love Vanity Rain. Dries matte. Definitely make sure your lips are moisturized because I feel like this formula is a little bit more dry than some of the other formulas. But it dries quickly and it gets the job done and it looks fabulous. So I still recommend Vanity Rain to this day. Also for Black Friday, Vanity Rain is like $8.50 on the Colored Rain website. I definitely stocked up on a few more lipsticks that I've been wanting to try from there. So who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll bring them back to the YT. Alright y'all, that's it for this video. I tried every lipstick for dark skin so that you don't have to. <laughs> now I didn't try every one, but I tried 15 different shades and I hope this gives you an idea of different things you can try if you are a deeper complexion like myself. If you want a part two to this video, you gotta comment down below and let 
it's your girl no i already want to do a part two but i also want to know that you guys want it because when you guys tell me you want something it encourages me to get the video out faster so make sure you comment down below also hit me up on instagram to see more of my commentary more things i have coming to my channel i normally announce on my instagram as well so follow us that you're here with three r's also if you want to see some of my makeup finds definitely follow my Amazon storefront because I actually go live on Amazon. Yes, you can go live on Amazon. I've been doing it for the past month. I'm going live every week for the rest of 2021. I'm gonna be sharing more makeup finds, so definitely hit me up on there. And if you wanna see my latest video, check it out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for rock with me, premiere party. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.